let's take a look at adding some frequencies to our flipper zero. We're going to add frequencies for something like this. This is a, a little walkie talkie, a 22 channel walkie talkie. And we're going to add the channels that we need or the frequencies that we need for this right on the flipper zero. We don't even need to use a computer. So what I'm going to show you here is I've already added it to this flipper zero. So if I go here and I go into sub gigahertz and I go into read raw, make this clear, and I go into config, we can see that I can scroll all the way, come on, I can scroll all the way to the end and then get into these other channels. 15 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So channels 1 through 7. Let's see if we can get clear on here. Channels 1 through 7 and then 15 through 21. 1 through 7 and 15 through 21. So how did I get this on here? I'm going to show you right now. And then I'll show you how it works. So on our flipper, I'm using the latest development version of Marauder. If I go to Marauder, why do I always say that? Of um, um, Momentum, sorry, of Momentum. So I'm using the latest dev version of Momentum. If I scroll to Momentum settings and I go to protocols and sub gigahertz frequencies, that very first one right there, we can see that I have three options here. One of them, static frequencies. If I go to static frequencies, you can see I have no static frequencies set. I can add a static frequency. I'm going to click on that. And now it asks me, what static frequency do I want to add? And you'll notice there's an X right here. So what I want to do is add one of these static frequencies. And I don't need to add any of the zeros. I just need to add the, the four, six, two, five, five, nine. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, sorry. Whew. The six first numbers. So let's do that. So that's four, six, two, five, five, nine. So if I go here and I go to four, six, two, five, five, nine, that X now turns into a save. So I'm going to save, bam. And we can see I have that static frequency right there. Let's add another one so I can show you what it looks like when you add two. So I'm going to add the second static frequency, which is four, six, two, five, seven, nine, four, six, two, five, seven, nine. So let's add that. So I go to four, six, two, five, seven, nine. I can see now that it says save right there. Come on. And I'm going to save. Now we can see, look, I've got two of these frequencies. So what I would do is I would go through and I would add all seven of these right here. Add all seven of them. And that's going to give us channels 1 through 7 and then 15 through 21 on a 22-channel walkie like this. So now what can I do with that? Well, we know I've added channel 1, which was 462559. So I've added that. Let's go back here. Let's take a look. So if I go all the way back to the beginning... And I go to sub gigahertz. Let's test a few things here. Frequency analyzer, let's do that. If I click on this, oh, it comes up. Now, if I didn't have added those codes, if I hadn't had added those codes, you wouldn't even see it come up here like that. So we can see, bam, there it is again. So can I record this now? Let's take a look. So if I go to read raw, 
Now I scroll left to go to config. Look at this, 314. I have to go all the way to the end because we can see that 460, it's gonna go right past 462, right? So we go from 440 to 464, but if we go all the way to the end, I'm gonna have that frequency right there, 462.55. I want to put this, the modulation, on FM 238. I can turn sound on if I like, so we can hear it. And then I'll go back. I'm going to hit record, and then we'll do a little, we'll use the call button. So record. So it recorded that. Now, technically, technically, I cannot broadcast on this band right here. I, I have a couple of these, uh, a couple of these walkies, these type of uh, Cobra walkies right here. Technically, I cannot broadcast on this. I can use this walkie, but I can't use this. So I'm just going to take this out right here because normally what I would do is I would hit this button, this center button to send that frequency and we'd be able to hear it on this walkie right here. Turn up the volume a little bit. We'd be able to hear it on this walkie right here because we're on channel one. Now, I'm not allowed to do that. I certainly can't press this button in front of you. I've got a number of these walkies, like I said, so I could just be using one of those. But if I take this out of the background, that's what would happen if I were to use this if I were to send this signal. So I can record this signal and rebroadcast it. I can add the, the frequency straight from the flipper. I don't have to go into my computer, modify files or anything like that. I can add that frequency straight from my flipper. And let me show you what it kind of looks like on this one right here. So if I go here and I go to sub gigahertz and read raw, if I go back, I've got all seven of the frequencies. Come on. I've got all seven of them until you can see I get back to this 900. But I've got all seven added there. Let's go to the last one and let's just try channel seven while we're here. So I go up to channel seven. I'm on channel seven here. Uh, we won't record anything. We'll just take a look and make sure we can see it with frequency analyzer. Oh, there it is. It shows up, channel seven. Very cool. So again, what I've done here is I've added the, the 22 channel walkie frequency to my flipper zero using momentum firmware without having to go to the computer. I did it all from the flipper itself. Very cool stuff and uh, very easy to do, much better than uh, getting onto a computer and trying to modify the frequency files and the user files and all that sort of stuff. I will post in the description all these frequencies right here for channel one through seven and 15 through 21. It's, it's essentially the same seven frequencies. I'll post that in the description. But that's it. Momentum firmware wins again. Flipper zero.